Samsung India has moved the Delhi High Court against an Indian custom order that bars the import of its dual SIM mobile phones. These mobile phones can hold two SIM cards in one phone. The order alleges that the technology being used in these mobile phones infringes a local patent. The case is first. The case is the first of its kind in India. I have with me our correspondent C.H. Unnikrishnan from Mumbai to give us more details. Unnik, what is the meaning of Samsung imports being stopped because of alleged violations of the patents? Samsung series, uh, you know, they have been importing mobile handsets from their parent company to India. And uh, they have uh, uh, another specification uh, which, uh, which has two uh, SIM cards. A handset can hold two SIM cards, which is generally called uh, dual SIM card. Those handsets uh, have been importing from Korea by their Indian subsidiary. But uh, one Mr. S. Ram Kumar, he is a Madurai based uh, scientist. He has been granted a patent on this particular technology by Chennai Patent Office in 2008. And he has registered, subsequently, he has registered this technology, this patent, with the customs officers, and uh, whereby the customs can detail a product which, which is similar to what the technology registered by uh, Mr. S. Ram Kumar uh, under his patent right. Okay. So what happened was, uh, customs officials in several ports in India started detailing or seizing the products what is being exported by uh, Samsung from Korea to India. And uh, which came to their notice after customs authority wrote to them that your products have been uh, detained at the ports because it uh, infringes a local, uh, an Indian patent. Okay. Okay. Are there, uh, uh, Uni, are there any other companies also which are importing similar technology and they are facing problems? There are many. Uh, along with Samsung, there are at least uh, seven or eight uh, uh, mobile handset importers. Uh, they have also faced this problem initially, but uh, what happened was uh, they negotiated with uh, Mr. Ram Kumar and uh, they have been uh, asked to pay a royalty and after they agreed to pay the royalty, uh, they have been given a license by Dr. Mr. S. Ram Kumar. So they have been importing, they are able to import those products now. Mm -hmm. But Samsung was not ready to uh, negotiate with him. In fact, uh, uh, People are saying that Ram Kumar has asked uh, uh, from rupees 35 to 50 per handset as his royalty. Okay, only one last question. Now that Samsung has moved to the Delhi High, has moved the Delhi High Court, uh, uh, what is going to be the likely course of action? See, there are the patent experts are saying that now there will be a number of technologies which is which may be in the broader sense. Well, look similar, but at the same time there will be minute differences from technology to technology. So the, since the customs authority do not have the competence or an expertise to analyze those technology uh, in the minute details, experts are saying that the customs authority cannot take a decision on their own and uh, if there is a case coming up like this, let them leave the parties to the court or let them leave the parties to fight each other and to take a decision. Then after that, with a consensus, Customs Authority can take the, uh, the initiative. All right, Oni, thanks a lot. Well, that's it from all of us. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.